So, what is up with Purge the Poison indeed? And this doesn't just uh, apply to the Deluxe, the Standard as well. A lot of people are struggling with this, with this one, it seems, and I can understand why. Um, both charts are nearly entirely Jack-focused. I'm going to go ahead and turn you down. Sorry, I want to talk. <laughs> um, but yeah, both charts are almost entirely Jacks, which, um, if you don't know what a Jack is, in rhythm game terms, it's basically just a note stacked on top of another note. Um, usually it's consecutively stacked notes, more than two, but it can be just two. Um, but yeah, this chart, both charts are just a lot, like, especially the Deluxe, I'm pretty sure, is entirely Jacks. Um, which is just crazy. We, we've, we've never really had a chart like this. But the thing that the Deluxe does that's um, even more crazy than the standards for the entire chart, there's a lot of double notes that are kind of staggered into these um, single stacked notes. The standard does do this towards the end of the chart, but it's not um, to the level that the Deluxe does. So I kind of want to uh, explain in this video why jacks might be a little bit easier than you may think. A lot of people seem to overthink them, um, especially because jacks usually tend to be smaller than your average note. And all this really has to do with is because you're stacking a bunch of notes on top of each other um, and the scroll speed is set to a certain speed, the notes are just getting scrunched, you know. Like if I took two notes that are full size, let's say I wanted to go, all right, I'm going to place them like one, two, three, four, five, you know, next to each other. They might end up like, this okay let's just say this is what normal size notes look like all right so one is there one is there and one is there okay so we have a note and then a note and a note well if i wanted to put the that but just one so if i look at the notes here well this isn't going to work because you don't want to have notes overlapping over each other so what you have to do in turn is squeeze the note size to stack them what ends up happening is the white bar the timing bar that is in the middle of the note stays in the same location. So you're still going to time it the same as it's just going to be the visual of the note will look smaller, but the white timing bar will look the same. Now, I know a lot of people are also having trouble with the intertwined doubles in this song. So I want you guys to watch here, kind of just watch me um, because I might have some finger crossover tricks where you might see my fingers move. Um, a certain way that might help you guys. Me personally, I love this chart. This is the only break you get for the jacks. Alright, so I know this wasn't like your typical DP video, and this obviously wasn't a DP, I'm not really trying to go for the DP, I'm just trying to show an explanation um, 
for kind of how to go about playing it. And you can hear this whole chart is a very steady pace. And I think that's one of the things that a lot of people have trouble with, especially when you got doubles um, involved in it too, is just keeping that you know, keeping that steady pace going. And also I forgot, I probably should have set my sync uh, plus 10 there because for some reason this entire chart is like kind of early. I just noticed that. Um, yeah, this chart feels kind of early. Uh, I didn't. I don't know if I mentioned it with the the roses deluxe chart, but come like stage four, it gets like super early. I don't know if the cut was like messed up or something. With this one, it just kind of feels like the whole entire song was just set a little bit too early on the chart, um, which is just fine. But um, yeah, hopefully you can see there. You know, there's quite a lot of double movement, and I kind of have to. You know, if I'm, if I'm doing a jacks in the middle lane, let's pretend these are the three lanes here. If I'm kind of jacking on the middle lane here, and then, like, there's a double over here, you kind of got to be able to shift your, you know, your fingers over there. And it's it really these um, kinds of songs is just about keeping that steady, d -d 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 keeping that steady rhythm. Uh, and the standard is the same way. In fact, I will play the standard right now, actually. I think um, just to kind of give an idea, because I know a lot of people probably want to see the standard rather because they don't have the deluxe unlocked um but i'm gonna have to watch an ad off screen so don't mind if i do all right ad has been watched let's go ahead and play through this one as well this is the standard version this one starts off with um no jacks see it moves into jacks Which I think is good for a standard. If the standard started with Jax, I would be like, uh... Interesting. So as you can see, I did quite a lot of finger crossovers there, especially in that first chorus. Um, now, they might be a little bit trickier to pull off if you're playing thumbs. Uh, unfortunately, that's kind of the downside of me as an index primary player. I'm going to be giving a lot of index tips. But that's what just one of, that's just another one of the um, bonuses of playing index is that you have a lot more mobility. And I'll talk about that in another video in the future. But hopefully... That was very um, informative of how to kind of overcome some of the challenges that Purge the Poison presents. Because I know it's kind of a unique um, hard chart. We haven't really had anything like it before. Uh, which I like. The fact that Space Safe is still able to produce these unique charts after, what, nearly, well, what, like three years? Two, two, three, two and a half years of the game? Um, that's pretty crazy, honestly. I'm very impressed with the um, uniqueness now, granted, there is also a case of non-uniqueness with the deluxes as well, with all the copy and paste, um, and I'm sure I'll make an uh, update video on that in the future because it continues to be a persisting issue, but yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, um, Halloween's gonna be tomorrow, so go ahead and enjoy that with, uh, friends and family, uh, and have fun. I'll see you guys in the next video.
बाय